Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. Today we are reviewing two new detail brushes from Detail Factory. Guess that I am wrong or how We're close now I've been making my amends Come and see Where have you been off to now? Wait for me Dear beloved, lend me light As I wander off into the night Or I won't be found Or I won't be found Welcome back to the channel guys. So we're looking at detail brushes today and two new brushes to the market from a company called Detailing Factory. Basically, we have a long brush with a slightly bigger head and a short brush with a slightly smaller head. The long brush costs $13.99 and the short brush costs $11.99. They're available in the UK from our friends Clean and Shiny and I'll put a link in the description of where you can get them from. The first thing I need to get across with these brushes so you know what you're getting when you buy them. The main difference between these and your normal kind of hogshead brushes uh, the bristles on these brushes are really, really soft. Now your traditional hogshead brushes, which are a detailing essential, you know, everyone has a load of these in their kit bag, but if you can pair the hogshead brush to this, it's a bit like comparing a sort of witch's broomstick to a kind of soft shaving brush. So that's the main difference that you're getting. We're gonna talk about why that's useful and perhaps why there's some disadvantages for that later on, but that's the number one thing. It's a very, very soft, brush. The next thing are the ergonomic features of this brush guys, that sounds a very complicated way of saying, but there is a tapering in the handle that you put your fingers in and that tapering has actually been given some texture so that the brush when it's all wet and you know you're, you're, you're scrubbing things is less likely to move around and slip out your hand. So that's quite quite handy, you know these ones are just you know sticks which are, which are fine but this is just a little bit better. It's a molded plastic handle as well, and the handle has a hook in it for you to just hang the brush out when you've finished using it. And the manufacturer says when you have finished using it, run it through with clean water, clean all the sque the um, or squeeze all the clean water out of the brush, and just hang it there to dry. And that's that's your maintenance for this particular product. So why are detailing brushes are detailing essential? Well, if you look at the exterior of any cars and you've cleaned a few cars, especially old ones that haven't been cleaned well. Dirt and grime can build up in certain areas that you cannot really hit properly with wash mitts or microfiber, and you need a brush to get in there and kind of agitate and sweep out some of that dirt and grime. Likewise, on the interior of a car, there are many areas on that front cockpit, that dashboard, where you've got to get in there to dust, okay? So you can't just kind of wipe over the grills, the air vents of a, of a car, you know, and really get all the dust and dirt out of there. So a lot of time when, you, when you're cleaning interiors, you're using these brushes in combination with a vacuum cleaner to kind of lift up the dust and then suck it all up into the, into the um, vacuum cleaner. And you can do that with kind of normal hogs air brushes. The thing with interiors is, it's fair to say there are, on certain cars, you know, more, the more high end the car, the more sensitive surfaces you can get. And the, the interiors of cars in particular are full of areas where you need to be very, very careful. Some areas of the interior of cars that you want to pay particular close attention to, and that's any plastic gloss finishes, you know, usually the old piano black gloss trim. That stuff is like butter and you do not want to be just going in there and spraying it with an all-purpose cleaner and then just wiping it over with microfiber because if you do that you will scratch the hell out of it. In the same way the main instrument panel for your speedo and your rev gauge and all that sort of thing, your mileage, the thing that sits behind the steering wheel in layman's, you need to be careful wiping that over when it's dirty as well so it's a good idea to try and just get as much of the dust and stuff off of that particular panel safely so that when you do make contact and give it a wipe over or something like that, you're not gonna scratch it or you're a lot less likely to scratch it. Also on the interiors, there's a lot of like LCD kind of various things like your air conditioning temperatures and things like that in the car that have plastic covers over them that in exactly the same way as your main, um, your main instrument gauge, if you go wiping them down when there's dirt on there, you can scratch the hell out of them. Another very important one, all the integrated sat nav and kind of onboard computer controls. Those are things that you need to clean very carefully and uh, you want to avoid scratching. 
as well as as well as all the safe sensitive areas generally as well you need a good interior detail brush for getting into all the little buttons as well and kind of just getting all of the dust out before you go in and spray it and make it wet in the same way guys on exteriors of cars when you're cleaning and detailing that um, with more high-end cars there's a tendency for those surfaces or there to be more surfaces that are sensitive to scratching you know very high quality satin high gloss black alloy wheel finishes would really show up the scratches um, your, your A and your B pillars where you've got those plastic kind of inserts in there that are soft as butter when you're cleaning out badges front grills that are plastic they are very prone to scratching all those sorts of things if you are really really mindful of that and you've seen what can happen to the finish of those if you if you go in heavy handed or something like that well then this brush is ideal for those that is it guys this is not a complicated video and it's not an anti hogshair brush these are still very useful tools and they're very cheap if you are getting these um, look for the white haired ones they, they tend to just be a little bit softer than the black hair ones in my opinion although it could be on a brush by brush basis but that's just something I've noticed these brush these black ones are a little bit more bristly and sticky but if you're watching this video and what I'm saying to you about sensitive surfaces on the cars you know makes sense and you've encountered um, surfaces that you might have scratched from not cleaning it properly then you will be interested in these brushes professionals are definitely going to be interested in these because they're more likely to be dealing with high-end cars where they've got to be very careful of the finish but in the same way at home if you're detailing a car that you are really kind of looking to keep in top condition then you are going to like these products i can absolutely recommend them for you there are trade-offs with everything so these brushes are cheap you don't pay a lot for them these brushes are more expensive but i don't think you're going to find a safer nicer quality detailing brush on the market thank you very much for watching guys as always please like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so they are providing an alternative to these hogshair brushes and these are not these are here to stay these cheap brushes and they are still useful they're not brutal or lethal but they are pretty cheap and if you've used them you know they are prone to falling apart on you and they are nowhere near as soft as these particular brushes so the trade-off is these are cheap very handy and uh, almost almost disposable whereas these softer safer more expensive so you want to look after them clean them out after each use i would recommend you have one that you keep dry for interiors and one the bigger one that you have and you keep wet and you you clean it out at the end for exteriors i think a lot of people are going to get find these nice and get some good value out of it you've always got you've got to make decisions about how much kit you have because you can you can keep buying loads these don't take up too much space and are definitely worth having thanks very much for watching guys and i'll see you shortly for more videos on the forensics detailing channel bye for now